Hello, 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 and welcome to another Character Education. My name is Corey, and this is the place where you come to learn this month's big idea. Big idea is something that goes inside of you to change the world around you, and when you put it into practice in your schools, it's just gonna change the world. Pretty cool, huh? So let's just jump right in. I'm going to reveal this month's big idea. Count it down, uh, three, two, one, cooperation. Oh, that's great. Repeat it after me. Cooperation is working together to do more than you can do alone. Yes, cooperation, that is huge. That is amazing. Speaking that of amazing. Captain Cooperation in the house! Uh, Andrew. Captain Cooperation! I said, Captain Cooperation is in the house, Corey. Okay, uh, Captain Cooperation. It's so kind of you to join of us. Of course, of course. I'm here to join you. I cooperate. It's, it's what I do best. And speaking of, you know what you do best? Filming these videos? No, no, no. Uh, uh, yeah, you do good, but you, my companion, are the... Hold your hands out. Do it. Hold your hands out. Oh. Helping mitt. Helping mitt. That's right. The helping mitt. Problems that need more than one person, beware. Because the helping mitt will be there. Especially if someone needs help holding a hot frying pan or a cup of coffee. Maybe you can go stand outside McDonald's. Uh, okay, very funny. Uh, well, do you need some oh, help? Of course not, of course. I'm Captain Cooperation, I work alone. Wait, what? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, I will now show you the power of cooperations. Oh, me? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. That's what this means. Yes. Okay, but what am I supposed to do with this? Um, I will jump up and hit that target. And I'll hit the bullseye with a single bound. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Three. Two. Yep. One. <laughs> uh. Uh. Sorry, my footing was a little unstable. Let's try again, okay? Okay. Okay, three. Two, one. Uh, uh, um, okay, let's try again. Okay, three, two, one. Ha! I hit the bullseye wow. in a single bound. Oh, Andrew, you did oh. it. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Okay, yes, bring it in. Okay, I will lift this rock with... Just me, my two hands. Uh, Ready? That's Ready? a pretty big rock. Ready? Three, two, one. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Can you help me, yeah. please help me. Yeah. Can you help me out? Okay. Oh. Let's just set it back okay. Okay. right there. Mm. <clears throat> oh, behold! I have the strength of two men. <laughs> we are two men, Andrew. <laughs> um, no. I am cooperation. I'm captain. Cooperation, and you are helping Mitt. Of course I am. But that doesn't mean I haven't seen the error of my ways. Just as the wise Avengers have taught us, we are meant to work together to save this world and not tear it down and allow scary aliens to turn our friends into mush. Spoiler alert. Sorry. Sorry, Corey. Well, that's good, Andrew. Um, I'll always be here to help you, though. And all you have to do is ask. Uh, but I'm, I'm not gonna be helping Mitt. Not even if I let you wear the cape? Oh. I have two on. No, no, no cape. Well, and I guess I'm off to find a proper sidekick, one who is worthy of the name, helping Mitt. Okay. Bye. Bye, Andrew. Uh, I should probably help him before he goes outside dressed like that. Why don't you guys just check out what's happening in this next video.
Hey there! I'm MC Haggis, and I'm the world's greatest Scottish rapper, and this year is my possibly former beatboxing partner, Seamus McFamous. Now, why did I say possibly former beatboxing partner? You see, folks, there comes a time when bandmates like Seamus and me decide that we'd like to do our own solo albums. And we're just having a bit of a rope over it, that's all. Aye. No, Aye. Not, mine's gonna be better. No, Aye. mine's gonna be better. Aye. My album's Aye. gonna be better. Aye. You, you cannot Aye. say mind infinity. We decided that when we were 11. All right, you know what? I'll tell you what. We each brought samples of our solo work, so why don't we each play one for the audience and let them decide? Why, why don't you go first? There, there. What was that? What was it? There was like a propeller underwater and, and, and some like like people playing pancakes with, with asparagus. Wait, you call that music? It sounds like someone is spitting with hiccups. I, I... Oh no, that was terrible. I'm sorry, folks. Here, here. Let me play a sample of some real music for you. You ready? Ew! Penguins don't fly. They're like walking around and they have cold feet. And then you've got to also get ICs. That tastes like strawberry. I... Wait, 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 what do you mean? Your Graham Graham McFamous could have done better. You know what? I was at the zoo and I was thirsty when I made that. You know what? You know what? You're just on that tape going, going, boom, hey, 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 we're terrible. Hey, not together. We make music magic. You know what? Let's just forget about these solo albums and just, 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 just keep making music together. Huh? I like that idea too. All right, kick it. We both thought about going solo. Then we found out that that was a no-go. We can be a musical sensation if we show some, you know, uh, you know, you know, desire to not go on on our own because we can't make music on our own very well. But 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 if we work together, we can do more together than we can do alone, and that's cooperation. Oh, word! That was glorious. Yay. We're back. Hey. That's it. Yeah. Yes. Where are you going? Where's the boombox? Those are antiques. They're worth a lot of money. Ah! Hey. No. Please don't. Oh. What kind of... What kind of garbage around here is Hey. Hey everyone, I am super excited to be here with you guys. You guys are really the ones that make this whole thing we do here so great. In fact, it's a pretty good demonstration of this month's big idea. Cooperation! Why don't you guys repeat after me? Cooperation, working together to do more than you can do alone. That's right. I mean, if we just stood up here and talked about the big idea without you guys listening, it wouldn't be the same. That's why I'm going to need some cooperation for this next segment. A super fun game. It's a little trivia game all about the big idea of cooperation and different times throughout history when cooperation helped pull off some pretty amazing things. It's pretty simple and everyone gets to play. If you think your answer is A, raise your left hand. If you think the answer is B, raise your right hand. If you think you're, the answer is C, raise both hands in the air like you just don't care. And if you think the answer is D, well then leave your hands down. Let's get started. Question one, how big was the largest orchestra in the world? A, 10,526, B, 7,224, C, 5,640, or D, 1,250? The correct answer is B, 7,224. Question two, how many people built the Great Wall of China? A, 250,000, B, 500,000, C, 800,000, or D, 1 million? The correct answer is C, 800,000. Question three, 
How many workers maintain the iron and paint on the Golden Gate Bridge? A. 50 B. 75 C. 100 or D. 200 The correct answer is A. 50 Question 4. According to the Greek historian Herodotus, how many workers built the pyramids? A. 2 million B. 1.5 million C. 250,000 or D. 100,000 The correct answer is D. 100,000 Question 5. How large is the crew on the world's largest cruise ship? A. 500 B. 1,350 C. 2,200 or D. 5,000 The correct answer is C. 2,200 Question 6. How many employees work at the world's largest company? A. 1 million B. 1.2 million C. 2.1 million or D. 3.5 million The correct answer is C. 2.1 million people Question 7. In what year did Henry Ford invent the assembly line? A great example of cooperation. A. 1924 B. 1856 C. 1958 or D. 1913 The correct answer is D. 1913 Question 8. How many students are enrolled in the New York City Department of Education, the largest school district in the United States of America? A. 525,624 B. 995,336 C. 752,809 or D. 330,967 The correct answer is B. 995,336 Question 9. How many people were used in the world's largest film cast, including extras? A. 500,000 B. 300,000 C. 750,000 or D. 225,000 The correct answer is B. 300,000 And the final question, how many participants took part in the world's largest charity walk run? A. 283,171 B. 364,283 C. 517,406 or D. 703,894 The correct answer is A. 283,171 Hey everyone, I'm super excited to be here with you today and I'm super excited to get a chance to talk to you about our big idea for today. But of course, I'm going to need some help. So let's take a look at our big idea for this month and repeat after me. Cooperation, working together to do more than you can do alone. So in the spirit of cooperation, I thought I'd get Cambrian out here to help me. Hey Cambrian, can you come out here? I'm already here. Yay! Uh, I don't really want to anymore. I'm sorry. Cambrian, come on. You know that the big idea is cooperation, and I thought you were finally on board with one of our big ideas. I need your help with the talk. I, I don't know. I, I mean, I've been doing some thinking, and I, I realize that I'm not so much for it. I think that most people can just do their own things they're on their own. And I work too well on my own, Melissa. Is this because I asked you to help me move this weekend? You own a piano! They are heavy! It's a keyboard! Oh yeah, I could see. Maybe I could cooperate. Great. Today's teaching segment is actually a story where we need everyone's help. It takes place in a deep, dark jungle with our animal of the month, the bat. <laughs> and you want me to play, Man, man, I am the dark knight. Um, no. There are actually no people in our stories, just animals. I'm going to read from the book, and the kids are going to provide sound effects. Let's get Andrew to come help us out as well. Come here, Andrew. Okay, so every time you hear me say the word bat, you'll flap your arms like you're flying. Like this? And when the girls see you make that movement, I want you girls to make a bat noise like eek, eek. Okay? Let's try it. Bat. Great job! We'll add animals and sound effects as we go, so let's begin. Once upon a time, in a jungle far away, lived a fruit bat who had planted a grove of orange trees. The time came for the orange trees to be harvested, but the bat 
knew that he couldn't do it alone, so the bat soared over the trees to find some help. Then he found the monkey. Would you mind being the monkey? Great, okay. Every time I say monkey, I want you to make climbing motions with your hands, and when he does that, all the boys in the room make a monkey noise like this. Ooh, ooh, okay? Let's continue. The bat asked the monkey if the monkey could climb the trees and pick the oranges that the bat had grown. And this went on until about 10 in the morning, and the bat realized that the monkey would need help. So the bat flew back in the jungle to find help for the monkey. It wasn't long before the bat saw a powerful tiger. Okay, I need another helper. Corey, can you come help? All right, every time you hear me say the word tiger, I want you to throw your hands up like they are claws. And then all the girls that see that motion need to make a loud growling noise like this. Roar! Okay, let's keep moving. So the tiger began to help by peeling the oranges that the monkey had picked that the bat had grown. And the work quickly progressed with the bat, the monkey, and the tiger. But around three in the afternoon, the bat quickly realized that it was beginning to get dark and the monkey was growing tired and the tiger had peeled a lot of oranges and they needed help. So the bat flew over the jungle until he found a snake. Okay, Andrew, I need you to also be the snake for me, good. So whenever I say snake, I want you to put your hands over your head and squirm like a snake. And when the boys see that motion, you'll make a loud hissing sound like this, Perfect, let's keep going. So the snake began to squeeze the oranges that the tiger had peeled, that the monkey had picked, that the bat had grown, and they finally had orange juice from the oranges that the bat had grown, that the monkey had picked, that the tiger had peeled, that the snake had squeezed. Whew. But the bat realized that while the snake had juiced the oranges, the tiger had peeled the oranges, the monkey had picked the oranges, they still needed some help. So the bat flew over the jungle and he found an elephant. I need you again. Um, every time I say elephant, I want you to throw your arm up like it's an elephant trunk. And teachers, when you see that motion, you make an elephant trumpeting noise like this. <laughs> the bat brought the elephant back to the monkey and the tiger and the snake. The elephant took the juice that the snake had squeezed from the oranges the tiger had peeled, that the monkey had picked, and the bat had grown. The elephant used his trunk to put the juice in glasses for the bat who had grown them, the monkey who had picked them, the tiger who had peeled them, the snake who had squeezed them, and together the bat, the monkey, the tiger, the snake, and the elephant enjoyed their juice. Whew, that was a lot. Let's give our helpers a round of applause, and for their help, I have an awesome prize. I love prizes. So, to my bat. Oh, are we done with this? Yes. <laughs> and to the monkey. Yes. Wow, I love servers. They're like my favorite thing ever. And I get the same thing as the bat here? That's awesome. And to the tiger. Thank you. And to the snake. Oh, I get two. Oh, the tiger gets one, too. I mean, he didn't help as long as I did, but whatever. And to the elephant. <laughs> um, great job. You guys can have a seat. Hey! What's the matter, Cambrian? I mean, I was here way longer than any of them, and I was, I was doing this and then just kept doing it, and it was exhausting, and that's not fair. He wasn't, he wasn't, they weren't working hard as me. What are you trying to say? Uh, what I did was way more important. I mean, without the monkey, how would he have gotten the oranges, huh? I mean, some elephant is going to climb a tree. I don't think so. It's not possible. Okay, well, aside from the fact that you are using an imaginary story as your argument, I think I see a problem. The story was meant to illustrate how we can accomplish more when we work together. If we want to maximize our potential, it takes all of us working together, working together to do more than you can do alone. Oh, okay, maybe, but I, I worked longer on my own than any of them. Cambrian, do you know who Michael Jordan is? What? Yeah, of course I do. Why? Well, he was an incredible athlete. Listen to this quote. Talent wins games, but teamwork and intelligence win championships. See, Michael understood that unless you make the smart decision and cooperate, you'll never maximize your potential. I mean, would the kids have enjoyed that story if I had just come out here and read it? 
What about if you had just made the monkey motion or the kids had just made wild animal sounds? When I was in school, we called that recess. Okay, well, my point is that story took everyone in this room working together. There's nothing wrong with being proud of what you've done, but when we start comparing ourselves to other people and thinking that what we can do is better than others, well, not only is that not treating others right, but it's not cooperation. The truth is we all need each other. I mean, I guess you're right. After all, it's not really about who did the most. It's about, I guess, just everyone doing their best. That's cooperation. Working together to do more than you can do alone. Corner piece, corner piece, where are you? Hi, I'm Austin, and I love puzzles. Well, frame part at least. I get so confused in the middle that I usually just end up arguing with myself. Hey, self, does this piece go here? No, it doesn't. It's not even the same color. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's not. It is. It isn't. It is. It isn't. Ah! But you didn't come here to watch me school myself, did you? No. You came here to hear a fantastic story about my friend Bailey. So, Bailey goes out to get the mail the other day, and she sees Mr. Rochester from next door, and she asks him if he's going anywhere special for Thanksgiving. And he says, um, no. And then she tells him that she's going to grandma's and grandma makes the world's best turkey and the most amazing pumpkin cheesecake. And she asks him, what are you having for Thanksgiving? And he says, uh, probably a tuna fish sandwich. And then he stalks off. Tuna fish? Well, Bailey thinks that that's just terrible. So she goes and tells her mom about it. And she says, I'm going to make him Thanksgiving dinner. And her mom says, that's great. But she also adds that she should get her brother and sister to help her out. Bailey just rolls her eyes. So hard that they, that they pop out of her head. Because her brother Jake takes a long time to do stuff. Like a really long time. Like so long that time stands still. And her sister Kit is like super bossy. She puts the whole family through boot camp. Hup, two, three, four, lift the knees, lift the knees, up, two, three, four, up. And Bailey tells her mom, I can do it by myself. And then she goes off to get all the things that she needs. And pretty soon, she's got all the recipes and ingredients all lined up. But when she lays it all out, she discovers that the chicken has to cook in the oven at 450 degrees, and the pies have to bake at 350, and the potatoes have to go under the broiler in the oven after cooking on top of the stove, and it's just a lot to juggle. And the chicken gets up and starts dancing. Pretty soon the room is starting to spin, and Bailey's just about to give up when she comes up with the most amazing idea ever. She can ask her brother and sister to work on it with her. Kit comes up with a perfectly choreographed schedule and Jake figures out a really cool way to roast the chicken on the grill. And while Kit is peeling potatoes, Bailey comes up with a super cool design for the pie and everything comes out at the perfect time. They take the Thanksgiving dinner over and Mr. Rochester says, go away, I don't want to buy anything. And then he peeks at the box and says, mm, well, um, hmm. And at last, he takes the dinner and he says, Thank you. And Kit, Bailey, and Jake all high five because that's like the nicest Mr. Rochester has been to anyone ever. And then they march home, but in like super slow motion because you know Jake likes to take his time. So, kids, remember cooperation is working together to do more than you can do alone. Also, it's really puzzling trying to figure out a puzzle all by yourself. Can anybody help me, please? Thank you. But you know, it starts to sound really weird if you say puzzle over again and over again and over again like this. Puzzle, 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 puzzle,
160,000. You see, every day, 160,000 kids stay home from school because they're afraid of being bullied. At your school, we believe that the number should be zero. We also think that if we put our big three into practice, we can help lower that number. We think if every kid can make smart decisions and treat others right, everyone would be able to maximize their potential. The truth is though, it takes a lot of this month's big idea. And why don't we, uh, why don't we say it together? So repeat after me. Cooperation, working together to do more than you can do alone. That's right. And today we've got a great way to show you guys how when we cooperate, it can help all of us in our countdown to zero. So for this demonstration, I'm, I'm gonna ask Kristen to help me and she's willing to get a little bit messy. For our dis demonstration today, we're gonna let this, this egg represent a kid at a school. It could be this school, but it could, be all, it could also be any other school across the country. One kid out of 160,000 kids stay at home from school because they're being bullied. Now, if I ask Kristen to step on this egg, what do you think will happen? So go ahead, step on that. So this egg wasn't strong enough and it cracked. The truth is that's what happens to kids when they have to face bullying alone. It can make them feel like they can't stand up to it, but together we can do more than we can alone. Together we can stand up against bullying. The truth is, the truth is when you're being bullied, it can be hard to stand up for yourself. But what if, it, what if as a school, you chose to co cooperate together. What if you decided that if you saw someone being mistreated, you would make the smart decision and treat others right and tell an adult you trust or even stand up for them, stand up for them yourself. Let's see what happens when the pressure comes in at a school that has put the big idea of cooperation into practice. Here we go, drum roll please. So look at that. That's what I call cooperation. When the pressure came on, the eggs worked together and helped stand up to the pressure. Let's give it up for Kristen. So everybody give Kristen a big round of applause. The truth is, if we want to count down to zero, it's going to take all of us cooperating together. I was complaining last week about the broken net and the grungy basketballs in our neighborhood. Nobody ever replaces them. So when mom said I should do something about it, I thought it was just gonna be me, by myself. It was too hot for hot chocolate, so I went with lemonade. At first, there really wasn't a lot of interest. But then Jaden came by. <laughs> yeah, he got some attention. And then Mia brought some cookies. And people really started to notice. We raised enough to buy three new basketballs and two nets. Thanks for all the people that helped. There's no way this could have happened without everyone working together. Now, I just need someone to help me put the new net up. Hey, before we wrap up, why don't we say the big idea definition just one more time, repeat it after me. Cooperation is working together to do more than you can do alone. That's right. Well, we had a whole lot of fun with you this month and we look forward to seeing you next time. See ya.